gaming computers and even consoles can cost a buttload of money nowadays. So I decided to go and find out just how much power you can get for under 100 euros. So how do you get incredible gaming performance for under 100 euros? It's pretty simple. First, uh, you should go online and find second-hand parts. Now, I was able to buy a HP Pavilion desktop, fully working desktop, for 25 euros. I then bought a graphics card, a ATI uh, 5870 by Asus, so it looks really good. I got that one for 32 euros. But then I needed a new power supply, so I bought a brand new, I didn't even bother anymore um, buying it second-hand. I paid 35 euros for a Corsair VS450 watt power supply, which brings our total around 92 euros. Now, if I start added, adding shipping to that, I'm still under 100 euros because I paid two times four euros for shipping. Um, so I'm still under 100 euros with this PC. So just how do you start going on with you know getting everything going? Well, the first step, uh, quite important, is I decided to go and buy individual parts, but I quickly learned that they're incredibly expensive, especially if you're on eBay, you should just not go on eBay at all, because you'll pay a buttload of money on eBay. So what you do is you buy a full, fully working desktop, because it already has all the parts and you pay shipping only once instead of seven times if you buy everything individually. So that's uh, the first start, buy your PC and then buy just the most insane graphics card you can get for whatever budget you have. So I have a 5870. I'll just take the side panel off, which makes it incredibly loud for some reason. Um, so I'll just bring the camera in real quick. If I press it on the top, this is real funny. This one stops the buzzing. It, it doesn't buzz when you have your side panel on. Uh, so what I got is this HP Pavilion. Now, it came with a, a 300 watt power supply, so I wasn't going to risk it, um, you know, with the converters and everything. But inside there is a, a triple core AMD Phenom running at 2.3 gigahertz. I was able to find a computer with 4 gigabytes of memory, which I think is a minimal. You know, I should at least get a dual core uh, with Intel and with those old AMDs, I would really recommend at least a triple core. So got four gigabytes of memory in there, a uh, 300 watt, uh, 300 watt, 320 gigabyte um, hard drive by Seagate. It looks pretty new actually. So if you just look, every single part in this PC is already more than 25 euros. Um, you know because you still need the motherboard. There's even an optical drive in there. There's a whole lot in one card reader which I'll probably never use ever. So that's all great. So then I had this PC, I got it at home, I saw, I had to still confirm that it actually had a, a PCIe slot. Uh, once I saw that it had that, I went on the internet, bought this lovely Asus 5870. It's incredibly powerful, you can run pretty much every game ever with this card. Uh, the only problem with this computer now is that the, uh, the CPU is holding it back quite a lot. Um, so you should really invest a tiny little bit more than 100 euros, but that was just my challenge. What else did we change? Well, you can see there's a brand new Corsair VS450 watt power supply in there, uh, because I wasn't going to risk it, as I said earlier. And you know, it adds to the value when you were going to sell it on, uh, which is kind of the plan at the moment. So enough um, chit-chatting, let's now you know, run some games and show you what sort of frame rates we're getting. Alright guys, our first little test, I ran quite a few of these, um, so this is Just Cause 2 uh, on very high uh, settings, so you can actually see it right here, this is Just Cause 2 completely maxed out, full HD, which consoles can't do, <laughs> so um, 4 gigs of RAM, you know, the 5870 I told you guys about, and on average we're getting 40.40 FPS with a 92 euro computer. With games like this, which don't really use your CPU, you can get incredible, like seriously incredible FPS. So let's now do something slightly less awesome. 
Um, because I, I also want to demonstrate the bads about this thing because the CPU is really a bottleneck with some games. I told you I was going to do a not so great part as well, so uh, before I show more of this, Thief was even at the lowest settings completely undoable, so I was only getting 10 FPS on that game. So if you're going to play Thief, um, yeah, do get a better CPU really. But Project Cars, um, to you guys it probably looks half playable right now. But we're only getting, I don't know if you guys can actually read it, but we're getting 20 FPS with um, 19 AIs. If you are alone on track, that goes up to about 26, 27 FPS. Um, that still look better than the older gen consoles. So, I mean, it's doable, I guess, if you're really on a budget, but... I wouldn't recommend it for Project Cars. For this final part, I just really want to blow everyone's mind. So we got Far Cry 3 on Ultra Graphics. So this is as high as the graphics will go. We'll just apply that. And uh, completely playable. 30 FPS. Ultra, 92 Euro PC. Now, I don't know if that's something you'll kind of understand, but that is kind of insane, you know, 92 euro PC playing Far Cry 3 on ultra settings um, somewhat smoothly. I would probably set it to high myself, so let's just do that. Sorry about the game being in Dutch, but whatever. There we go, X apply. There we go. No visible detail loss, but better FPS. This is now 60 FPS hitting the V-Sync, Far Cry 3, high settings. A very wise man once said, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. So this is Far Cry 3 on ultra settings in 3D. Does it actually work? It does actually work. So I think this is pretty much time now to do a conclusion. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to give it an award because I would be awarding myself, which would be quite stupid. But I think if you're a bit on a budget uh, and you're considering buying a console, 92 euros or 100 euros, including shipping, will get you Far Cry 3 Ultra in 3D, Full HD. It's amazing. Like, why not? buy a PC like that, even if you don't need it. I mean, I don't need this thing. I got a two grand gaming system upstairs with triple monitors and everything, but this is just fun to have as a backup. Or if I wanna go to a LAN party, I can just take this and if it breaks, then so be it. So I would say each and every single one of you should now go and get one of these because it's bloody brilliant. And if you like the video, press the like button. If you dislike the video, press the dislike button. Leave a comment on how epic you think this was. And don't forget to subscribe to Unicorn Reviews for more um, other different videos on stuff everyone keeps doing all the time. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching.